Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video of Spencer Studios. We are back today with the Halloween Kills Ultimate M Michael Myers figure. Yes, this is from the 2021 Michael Myers um, Halloween Kills, and I'm really excited to review this figure. It's a whole new one. Uh, it happens, uh, this movie happens exactly a few moments after the exact first one, when Laurie Strode and her family burns Michael Myers down to the ground in her house in Haddonfield, Illinois. But Michael escapes. And now we will be reviewing this ultimate figure. I'm really excited to review it. I think it's great. It's an awesome figure. It comes with a lot and ton of accessories, almost as much as the um, Halloween 2018 figure. And this one's really exciting, and I'm really glad to go over it. I'll get into the clue very shortly. We'll first go off with the box, the figure, and soon the accessories. So please stay tuned, and I hope you all enjoy this video. As we always do it, we're going to start off with the box here. As we always have it, it's a NECA figure box from Horror, so it's normally just a nice cardboard box, um, and it's very nice, very highly detailed, like the poster. Uh, as we see here, same thing as the poster, it has the Michael Myers mask with the burn sides of the face because he got burned in the fire. I think that's amazing. There's so much detail, even though that they put it onto the box, that's great. I hold all the box that, boxes that I keep. Um, I keep them all uh, in a either in my closet or under my bed for when I get a new figure. Uh, it doesn't just go with NECA, it goes with all the other figures I buy. So see, it says Halloween Kills down here, uh, the ultimate Michael Myers figure. This is awesome. I gotta say, it's very cool. It's a very evil looking box with Michael Myers on it. It's awesome. Uh, on the side of the box, as we always have it, it's the Halloween Kills. And my light just turned off. Oh, great. But we'll keep going. Uh, Halloween Kills on uh, NECA, Michael Myers, um, real toys down here. And that's okay. Uh, Halloween Kills, that's awesome. In the back of the box, obviously, we have the same thing. Um, it's the always pictures of the NECA figure, what you're going to get within it. That's really great. I love that. It says, The Strode family join a group of other survivors of Michael's first rampage who decide to take matters into their own hands, forming a vigilant mob that sets out to hunt Michael down once and for all. Evil dies tonight. Well, uh, after watching that movie, I got to say that was completely wrong. But as we see, that is awesome. It comes with so many accessories, new accessories, too, for Michael Myers, like a baseball bat, even a Halligan bar, too. Comes with new masks and even a broken light bulb, which is awesome. I think that's cool. Comes with two different masks for the Michael Myers figure. But as we all know, um, you need to change out the masks beforehand. Like, as soon as you get the figure, make sure you change the mask here and there, or if you don't, and you want to change it in the near future, that's the problem because it's not going to go in correctly. And I'll tell you what I mean in just a second. Uh, here we have on the side of the box, same thing, Halloween Kills, as we normally have with NECA Real Toys. And here we have the inside of the box. Yes, the plastic piece um, with everything inside. Uh, and here we have, it's just the Michael Myers uh, picture on the side. I love the fact that when they do the Michael Myers figures, um, they always have like an ominous sort of creepy photo on the side. That's amazing. And that's awesome right here, all the way down the plastic. That's awesome. Glad that they put this in here. And let's put on a new light. One eternity later. Only took 30 minutes later, but we are back. Welcome back. So here is the Neko Michael Myers figure. Uh, we are just going to jump right into it. Uh, it is a tall figure. Bigger than, I'm pretty sure it was taller than the last figure that we um, discussed with Halloween 2018. Yes, that was the one. Uh, not the 1978 or which, whatever one it was. But um, this one is a little bit different. Uh, as you can tell, it has a different type of mask scope and it... Even has a t different type of body sculpt too. Uh, some people don't believe me on this one, but it actually is true. Uh, we'll first start off looking at the head with the detail and everything like that. Here we have Michael Myers' mask. It's just a nice, uh, like almost moldy sort of mask because of all the burns and scratches there are. As we see, it's the bullet wounds and everything like that that we see normally in the movie. Uh, the burn sides on the other side of the face, which is awesome. I love that. I love that. And then the normal things that we could see inside the eye holes, like the, the eyes, the disgusting looking eyes all burn and stuff like that. Hair, uh, it has, I wish it could transition a little bit more, but the hair up here, it's like brown and it goes straight to black. I wish it could have like faded a little bit. That's still good though, I still like the figure. As you see, it's a little bit more mummified a little bit. It's like more like disgusting in this set. I really like it though. 
uh, the body sculpt. It looks a lot uh, familiar with the 2018, but I can tell you it's not. Uh, the 2018 one wasn't as um, slim. It was a little bit more baggy as well. This figure it has a little bit more of um, sort of like a slim, muscular sort of way. Uh, it has a dirtier t uh, type of like um, sort of suit, the jumpsuit as well. It's all blue and it has several bullet wounds within it, which I love. I'm glad that it has many bullet wounds after the fight um, in, the, in the town. I love that. In the back, it's also very wrinkled back here too. It's all fiery, all cuts back here. I love that. That's awesome. And... In this movie, because it happens literally right after um, Halloween 2018, uh, it has Michael Myers' hand, as you, if you could see right here, the hand is all bandaged up because Laurie shot his fingers off. I thought that was awesome. But um, here we have, the hand is a little bit more dirty as well. The other hand, they're all dirty. Uh, Michael is more dirty because of all the smoke and ash and everything like that from the fire after he escaped and literally destroyed all those firemen. But I love that. I like all the detail. It's just a nice blue jumpsuit. It's awesome. Has tons of detail and everything like that. If we look in the head right here by the neck, it's still blue shirt underneath it, which is awesome. I love that. And the shoes. Shoes are the exact same. Uh, the, the black shoes, like the sort of like almost boots sort of thing. Uh, boots sort of shoes. And that's the cool thing. I love this. I think it's a good figure. The the pocket can't open up, but it can sort of open up, but not a lot where you can fit something in there. I thought that'd be great. But we'll head right into the articulation. If I can zoom in, uh, let me try. I don't think so. But um, here the head, it's the head, normal head. It uh, can move uh, like all of the other NECA figures. It can move almost all the way around. Um, you just got to be careful, obviously, with the, with the head. You don't want to pop anything off. It works very well, and due to the fact that the collar back here is blocking all of it from turning it around, that's a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. Uh, same thing with the arms. Everything is just the same as the last figure. Everything's movable and articulated, has the little joints right there, and everything can swivel, full 360, everything like that. Looks great. Hand can move too, can sort of swivel, but I don't want to test it, I don't want to break it. And same thing, the, the chest, there's no um, ab crunch. Same thing like that. And the the legs, they can move a little bit, actually a little bit, a lot more than the last Halloween 2018 figure. Um, if you know me, uh, one of my favorite figures of NECA is the Halloween 2018 figure. I gotta say, it's an awesome one. It's really cool. And I love it the most because it was the first ever uh, horror movie I've ever watched. And I that's how I fell into the love of horror. Um, but it's great. And everything back here is great. Everything can move, even the shoes can move a little bit, and it's awesome. We'll get into the accessories, I'll explain a lot about the Michael Sculpts and everything like that. So we'll just start off with the weapons, and then the Michael Sculpt, and then finally the last accessory. Alright, we'll just start off with the normal weapons so far. It comes with about uh, four weapons, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, four weapons, and they are all very cool. Obviously, if you're a big NECA collector like me, for horror figures, um, there's definitely more uh, different types of weapons you could use. So, as we see, we'll start off with the old Huckleberry bat right here. Um, this was a bat that was given to Tommy Doyle in the movie uh, by the bartender. I'm pretty sure his grandpa had the old Huckleberry bat, the baseball bat, which is awesome. He used it in the movie, but obviously Michael Myers broke it in half and used it on him. And that's still really cool. It's a good bat. doesn't have a ton of detail. It's just like the Chucky one, but it's a little bit bigger. Made for Michael Myers to hold. And I gotta say, it's really cool. Perfect amount of detail. It's a little bit like, it looks like it has the wooden um, lines in it, which is awesome. All right, and then we'll go on to the Halligan Bar. Um, Michael Myers, he's still in the basement in the movie, and a fireman who came to stop the fire accidentally fell into the basement, and obviously you know what happened to him. He was holding a Halligan Bar, and that's a specific type of tool that firemen use to help people out of fires. And... So this is what Michael Myers uses. It's a little bit smaller. I wish it was a little bit longer and bigger. But it's very bloody, and that's what I like it. It's a little bit sharp up here, but still really cool. Bendy, but that's why you got to be careful. And obviously the back right here, it's an awesome thing to use, especially when you have, like, in a fight or stop motion against another person. This would be a perfect weapon to use, a halogen bar. It's all bloody, and I love how it's bloody. I like bloody effects more, like, on knives or halogen bars or anything like that in general, which is really cool. It's all metal, too. It's like, um, sort of like a silver sort of piece, which is awesome. I love this piece. Uh, it comes with two knives. Um, I wish it came with more bloody effects. Oh, wait. 
there's actually five, five different pieces. But here we have right here, it's the, um, this is the knife that Michael Myers uses, uh, mostly in the movie. It's all bloody and stuff like that. In that one scene at the park with the kids, that's all the blood from that uh, Dennis's mask. I, that's actually an accessory that comes with it. But as we see right here with the knife, it's nice and brown, um, like holder right here that's awesome and the base and then here is the normal knife obviously with knives you gotta be careful they're very thin they can break off easily but it's a nice bloody effect i love the blood effect i think it's great it's when i put michael myers this michael myers on the shelf i normally use this knife for the accessory which is great and obviously it comes with the normal kitchen knife which in the i'm pretty sure in the original movie like a halloween 2018 uh michael myers did use this and it was awesome. I do like this knife a lot. He gets two knives, um, or th two or three knives in within the movie, but it's still good. I love this effect. And obviously, it comes with a bulb, a light bulb. Let me just get it real quick. 12 seconds later. Here we go. So here is the bulb. So in that one scene, a little bit after the fireman attack, a old couple that lives right by Laurie Strode's house become unfortunate when Michael Myers breaks in and you know what happens. But one of the couple, uh, one member of the couple, a woman, old woman, gets sort of this bulb jabbed into her neck. It's all bloody right here. I love the effect. I would use this more. And I do have another bulb effect like from a action pack, but it doesn't really have any blood on it. But it's a good effect to use if you're like, Michael broke open the bulb and stuff like that. That's great. It's all white here, normal electricity light. But as we see, it's all bloody here it's not as sharp as you expect it to be but it's still really cool i love that effect um then we'll go on to the sort of masks first but uh let's head in right to the clue this character that i am dressing up for halloween has a reboot yes there are many characters that have a reboot but this one has either a reboot or a sequel so try and guess in the comments below and good luck Starting off with the masks, uh, one, it comes with another mask, like, for Michael Myers, just Michael Myers, and it comes with a mask for, from Dennis. So, here is just the normal mask that Michael Myers uses within the film. It has two different ma uh, masks that it comes with. Um, one has the noticeable eyes, and this one, this one right here, it has the eyes uh, covered with black to make it look like you can't see the eyes within it, and I think that's cool. It's... Uh, it's, a, it's okay. It's an okay mask. It's literally just the same thing, just has the not painted eyes. But I'd rather put this on my Michael Myers for this Halloween because uh, the 2018 shows his eyes more. And this one, not as not as much. So I'd rather put this one on. But like I said before, if you were to put, like, if you were to take this off after having this mask on for a while and then putting this back on this it wouldn't really go on because the the sculpt has already settled into this so it would be very difficult to put on and that's what i don't like about it it was my mistake but i wish it could have been fixed um it's really cool same same thing at the bottom it has the normal head sculpt right here the peg in the bottom so really cool love it but here we have right here is dennis's mask michael myers holds this mask one scene in the movie at the park when some of the old um, victims of the Michael Myers attacks, they go to find Michael Myers and try and kill him, but obviously they find this mask that belongs to Dennis and even has the little clover patch right there. I love that. But Michael Myers gets this mask and obviously you know what happens to Dennis. He was a young kid and we know what happened. But it's all bloody and I love the fact about how bloody it is. It's just like drenched and it looks like Michael Myers got to him. What I would have liked more, obviously they didn't put it because it had to be a little bit more child appropriate, um, Michael Myers got this mask with something inside the mask, and you probably know what I'm talking about. But this mask, um, doesn't come with anything inside, it's completely hollow and all rubber, rubber. I like that effect, that's all rubber too, it's really cool. It's, uh, all cracked, it's like a skeleton mask, it's really cool, from like the original Season of the Witch, Halloween 3, which is awesome. And we also saw in Halloween 2018, but it didn't come with the figure. This is awesome, I love this mask, and it even has on the top... It has a little pincher, like if Michael Myers were to pinch this and hold it, but my Michael Myers doesn't really work that way. Um, I make him hold it at the bottom, which is still really cool. The thing with this, uh, with this Michael Myers figure that I got, I'm pretty sure I got it from BigBadToyStore.com. Uh, you can get it, yeah, Big Bad Toy Store. And it was, it was a good find. I'm pretty sure it was Big Bad Toy Store. If not, it was probably Best Buy, but still it was awesome. It was a good figure, everything like that. I love it. 
So we'll head right on to the hands and that will be the end of the video. So the accessories right here for Michael Myers just himself, it comes with two different hand sculpts. Not with the his right hand, but it comes with his left hand. After the fingers got blown off by Laurie Strode with the pump shotgun, uh, he puts bandages on it. And it's like actually really cool. It's all bloody. The bandage is all bloody too. Uh, as you see, it's just an open two finger, no, three finger hand, which is awesome. And it's just all covered up with bandages. Obviously the little peg right there where you could put it in. That's awesome too. And this is just the another uh, hand hold scope sculpt. Um, normally with all the figures, it comes with different uh, hold sculpts. Um, so this one is holding for holding uh, the bulb, I'm pretty sure. So if you were to put it in, Michael Myers can easily hold it. So that's awesome. And I'm pretty sure it could hold maybe the, the baseball bat, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the one that he has on right now can easily hold the dentist mask or maybe even the Halligan bar. But I use normally just a knife for it or the Halligan bar. This is awesome. It's sort of like a curled up hand, which is like, it's great. And uh, this this figure's good. It's honestly great. It's It doesn't have a lot of bad things with it. I just wish some things could have been changed, but it was still pretty good. Ah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a um, great review, and I hope you all enjoyed. Please comment down below with the clues. Hope you liked and subscribed. Also, thank you for the 42 or 43 subscribers. I am very thankful for all you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Only been six months, and it was still great. Great run. We had a great run, and I'm still glad. I'm not quitting. Definitely not. But I'm glad that you all enjoyed this video. Probably the next video we might be doing is definitely Freddy Krueger. We probably will be doing Freddy Krueger. And if not, we won't be probably... I don't think we're going to be doing a NECA figure. Uh, we will be doing an SH Monster Arts figure. I got the new Mechagodzilla figure, um, the SH Monster Arts from 2021. So we'll uh, probably do that in the near future. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And please take care.